you know, as much criticism as easy the block captain gets, which is deserved, there is one thing, yeah, just one, that is a positive that he has done in the last year, maybe even year and a half, and he is going to continue doing this year and hopefully for years to come, pause, or at least people will take over and elevate. What do I mean? Hit the like button. Hit the like button on this video. This should be heard. Philadelphia Battle Rap is something that helped to build the foundation of Battle Rap in the DVD era all the way to now. It wasn't just smack DVDs. It wasn't just the fact that hip hop exists. No, when it comes to the early 2000s, maybe even like late 90s to now, real organized battle rap as far as leagues, as far as back and forth competition on DVDs and, and city to city, state to state, Philadelphia played a major part. Reed Dollars, Joey Jihad, Eddie Morris, Rain Man, NH, so on and so forth. Many names, E. Ness, Hollow Man, a, a lot of names. But when you get to the era of YouTube, smack, you know, they start URL, you know, King of the Dot blows up. You know, you, you had many small leagues, you had some major leagues, what have you. But it seemed like Philadelphia fell to the wayside as far as having a major footing, a major space. There was Battle Academy. There was Philly Battle Rappers here and there. But it really wasn't a boom of Philly Battle Rap anymore. When you get to the Summer Madness, Gnome, you know, all, all the big cards from the bigger leagues, Philadelphia it really wasn't a movement. You had the Midwest movement. You even had a Chicago movement. You had Detroit movement. You had the New York, of course, New Jersey. You know, you had Briz and T-Top, amongst others from the South. You had the West Coast movement. You even had gang-banging movement. But Battle Academy and local Philly events they happen, but it, it was never like a big, big deal. It wasn't like must-see. It wasn't you missed out. They had some classic battles in those small rooms, in them small basements. But it just, it, it wasn't growing Philly Battle Rap. You know, when Smack finally decided to throw a card in Philadelphia, this is at the TLA, when you have URL lockdown, and this was a card that had, I believe it was Calico and Twerk, Cassidy infamous Cassidy Arsenal battle. Got to review that. Hit the like button, share this video, subscribe to this channel if you're not. But, uh, you know, that infamous card. I believe that card had K-Shine and Reed Dollars. That was the night when the crowd was booing the whole event, except for, like, maybe two battles. Um, I might have to do a, a review of that whole, uh, a retrospective review of that whole, like, weekend, because I believe that was the week where they had, like, the I think Suge and DNA was on the BET Awards. And then the next day they flew to Philly. I think it was that card. It was DNA and Bill Collector. Now, what Smack tried to do a little bit was, you know, incorporate Philadelphia. Obviously, Cassidy's on the card. Reed is on the card. Bill Collector's on the card. But it was kind of just the same old people who would get booked by URL anyway. There was no e -ness. It really wasn't even like a Philly versus New York card. It was kind of incorporating some of them, but not really. And for years, when you had kind of the break of a Joey Jihad, you know, Reed came back, you know, he had the John John battle, which was a disaster. He came back great in the chess battle, and he had battles up and down, up and down, the Rex battle, up and down, up and down battles. But aside from him and Enes, who Enes was kind of like, it seemed blackballed a little bit from URL after the DNA battle. He had the Steams battle. But Enes had to go to every other league, pretty much. But URL was never building a Philly artist. They were never they were never promoting a Philly battle rapper, really. Cassidy is like a special case. Um, and then for a long time, when you didn't have the Joey Jahads and all these people who weren't battling, all you had was like kind of K Walker. But even to this day, as I record this, K Walker, he's not. He's, he's not even someone you'd put to have the opening battle on a gnome. 
He's not someone that you would put ever on a summer madness. He's not someone you would put on a major card. So he kind of he he's better now than he was, but he's still like far far away from getting people's attention. So when the the coronavirus, the whole pandemic hit and they do the ultimate madness tournaments and they're doing the battles in the small rooms, Easy is there and he had been battling for years, you know, chip tooth like Nas in the 90s. Dusty, filthy, disgusting, like most of you Negroes who can't stop wearing fitted hats. Ugh, New Yorkers. Ugh, Philly. Ugh, Baltimore. Oh, God. Anyway, so easy, one way or another, he gets to the URL. He signs a slave deal, but he does elevate himself. He has big battles and good performances. And, you know, it was like the first, like, new, fresh Philly battle rapper who's like, has a name now. So then, easy when he gets out of his deal, however he got out of it, which apparently he's not out of it, he just, like, left, but contractually he still is in it. I don't know. They should sue him and Remy Ma. Anyway, but, um, you know, he gets his own, well, oh, Lord. It's not his league, but the league, the trenches, in affiliation with Remy Ma's league, Chrome 23, and pretty much it's a Philly league which is a great thing because now you have somewhere where people will tune in. The battles matter. It has attention. I believe they were doing pay-per-view and he brought hollow man versus a head ice. They had, they had like a, 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 they had like a Philly New York card and, and hollow man was just incredible. Like he's one, he's one of the few people that returned to this era and was tremendous. Um, so the one thing easy to block captain has done that's good. The one thing he does deserve credit for, not worship for, not idolatry, but credit. Because when people do something of meaning, not just when people do something, no, when people do something of meaning, especially when it is to help other people. Now, let's not let's not be stupid. Easy the block captain is also doing this out of ego and egotism because he's he is a narcissist. So a lot of this is I brought Philly back and y'all got to come mess with me if you in Philly or you can't. It is some like. I'm overlording all of you, so y'all need me. And, and y'all are so desperate, I know you're going to deride me. It, it is some of that in there, too, because he, he, he's that type of individual. Have you seen his teeth? From a few years ago. And, and, and shout out to that black queen, Hurricane Dew. Hurricane Dew is thick. Woo, woo. Mm. Damn. Damn. Anyway, um, so he does deserve credit for the Philly League. And um, there is a new excitement when it comes to Philly battle rap. Um, K Walker still is like real regular. But the legends are coming back. Hopefully, I saw something about NH was like arguing with somebody. I saw something about an NH Rex rematch. Um, that that's like I gotta review that battle. That battle is classic. Oh my god! Just fifty thousand niggas with with bubble coats and and purple haze, and 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 oh man, that was a that was a classic battle. Rex won, but I'll watch it again and review it for the channel for the Who Really Won series. But um, Remy Ma's Chrome Twenty Three, Remy Ma's Trenches League, cause it is her league. Cause remember, she's the dominant one, and Easy, the small cock captain, is the sub. And with that said, I'm up out of here. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the thanks button. You can donate to the Cash App, support the channel, and that is it.